There may or may not be a snowstorm in the forecast tomorrow, but right now it is perfect. This is the exact spot on the map where he's indicating we should cross. It's coming. We should probably get moving. It's gonna be a long, cold night. It's only noon. Oh. Welcome to Waypoint of View. We're Justin Miles and we're nearly two years into our journey around the world. We are currently in the amazing country of Kyrgyzstan and we are really loving it here. The people in the nature are truly unbelievable and today we are off on another big adventure. Good morning. Today we are starting on what is probably the most popular hike here in Kyrgyzstan. We are heading to Alakul Lake and our plan is to trek for the next four days. This is going to be some pretty serious high altitude trekking. So our original plan was to hire a guide and a porter, but after talking to several people in town and renting what we think is everything we need, we're off on the trail on our own and we've got about 17 kilometers to where we plan to camp tonight. So I'm really excited this morning and I'm hoping this adrenaline rush lasts all the way until we get to camp because I'm feeling good. We are hiking in a beautiful valley. The weather is perfect. There may or may not be a snowstorm in the forecast tomorrow, but right now it is perfect. I feel like a real backpacker too. I got attached to my pack. That's <laughs> the real deal. You look like a real backpacker. We have just been following along this Jeep road for a little over an hour now. And it's been mostly gradual, a little bit of flat, a little bit of up. We actually paid a thousand psalms to be driven from Karakol to the first bridge, which cut out about an hour of trekking on this road. So that was really nice. We should be coming up to our next river crossing here pretty soon. And we were told that the bridge has been completely washed out. So it could be interesting. Well, we've been on the trail for about three hours and that river crossing is a lot further than I thought, but we've just come to an incredible meadow. So we're gonna stop and have some lunch. For lunch, we're having peanut butter and honey sandwiches. To be honest, <laughs> I was pretty surprised to find peanut butter at all. We'll see if it's real peanut butter or not. It doesn't really look very good. <laughs> the color is very questionable. So I will be interested to see how this tastes. And there were two types in the grocery store, one with a red lid and one with a blue lid, and we had no idea what the difference was. So we went red. Hopefully we picked right. It was definitely oh. crunchy versus creamy. This one's crunchy. That's actually not a big I'm thing. not mad about that. to the old bridge where we are obviously not going to be crossing but the guy that we rented all of our gear from mapped out the route that we should take across so fingers crossed that goes smoothly he even put pins on maps me but he did say that if there was a lot of rain the river could be too high so we'll see it did rain a lot last night so this is our first marking <laughs> There goes nothing. Definitely a lot less straightforward than he made it sound, but so far we're staying dry. This is the exact spot on the map 
where he's indicating we should cross. And I think that this means that we have to take our boots off. Maybe even our pants off. <laughs> and maybe go for a swim. Yeah. You know when something is so cold that it feels like it's burning? That's this. That's where my feet are at right oh, now. Oh yeah. Alright, one more crossing. Remember when he said it would take us three hours to get to the hut? <laughs> Remember that? What? What time frame? I feel like we walked around here for three hours trying to figure out how to cross the river. <laughs> we for sure said three hours. We've been hiking for five. All right, we got our boots back on and it's time to climb. We have climbed quite a ways from that valley. Home for the night. Almost, we still got some work to do. We like this spot better. If you happen to watch our Enchantments backcountry camping videos, then you'll be familiar with what we're having for dinner tonight. But if not, we are making ramen bombs. We got some instant mashed potatoes. We're gonna boil up some ramen, and then you add a little bit of water with the ramen to the potatoes, mix it all around. It sounds gross, kinda looks gross, but it's actually delicious. And we got some tuna to add to it as well for a little extra protein. So the tuna is not chunks of tuna, it's more like tuna mush. <laughs> so this is taking a very mushy meal and turning it even mushier. Is that strings of tuna? No, those are noodles. Oh. Coated in tuna. <laughs> is it any good? You know, I would eat just about anything right now. The mashed potatoes were the best part the last time. I know. We should have gone heavier on the mash. It is full blown raining outside, so we've moved dinner inside. And this is about the least attractive meal. Does the trick though. <laughs> Case in point. <laughs> and we have bread and cheese and a Snickers for dessert. We probably would usually do the bread and cheese before we ate. We were in a rush. But, yeah. Storm was coming. Yeah. It was already six o'clock. We needed that ramen bomb. It was urgent. It's eight o'clock and we're going to bed. Because it's time for bed. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Today was a lot harder than I was expecting it to be for some reason. I don't know why. I should have known better. I know, we knew what we signed up for, but for whatever reason, we just felt like it wasn't going to be that big of a deal. It was a long day, but it was a great day, yeah. and I'm excited for tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. I actually slept pretty well last night, all things considered. Which is really surprising considering we're sleeping on a mat that's like five millimeters thick. It's very thin. <laughs> we were basically sleeping on the ground, but I was toasty warm. We bought these fuzzy sweaters and these sweatpants in Caracol. Caracol for $5 a piece. And not only does it have one of these pockets, but check this out. I don't know that I've ever seen this before. Mine doesn't have that. But Look at is. that! <laughs> that is so cool! I love this thing so much! This is the fuzziest, warmest, coziest sweater I think I've ever owned. And he has one too. I do. Admittedly, I used mine as a pillow last night. Not me. But it is really cozy warm when I'm wearing it. Five bucks. 
Not bad. We got it at some kind of consignment store. I'm not entirely convinced that it was clean, but... The sweatpants were for sure dirty, but we washed them. (laughs) There's frost on the ground this morning. Yes. We're enjoying our coffee. It is beautiful. It really is beautiful. The sun is starting to light up the mountains behind us. We think it's going to be coming up over this peak here pretty soon. And we only have two miles of hiking today to the lake. I am so glad we're splitting this up into three days. I mean, today's not going to be easy. We've got a big climb ahead of us, but... It's about 2,000 feet of elevation over two miles, so it's going to be pretty steep. It'll probably take us a while with all of the weight we're carrying. It's supposed to start raining slash sleeting slash snowing at around one o'clock, so we definitely want to get up to the lake and get our camp set up by then. All right, it's a little after nine o'clock and we are on the trail. Should be two or three hours and almost 2,000 feet of elevation gain today. at this point. The clouds definitely rolled in earlier (laughs) today, but so far it seems like it's holding off, so fingers crossed that we can make it all the way up. And we've got one more little climb up to the lake. Probably shouldn't call it a little climb. (laughs) It's been very steep. (laughs) (laughs) A lot of rock scrambling this morning. Yeah, but yeah, we just have this one more climb up next to the waterfall, and the lake should be right over there. Right around the corner. Let's just hope the weather holds off a little longer. It's coming. We should probably get moving. Get ready for the rain. There's the snow. Just in time. The snow has stopped, but this valley behind us is completely covered in the clouds at this point. And we still have to go up this scree field and then one final climb over the rocks. So we're almost there. We're doing good. And we got our trash bag backpack covers. <laughs> we rented these backpacks in Caracol and they didn't have rainproof covers. So we got trash bags. It worked. It's working so far. That was stressful. We knew we needed to be set up by one o'clock. We got here just before 1230 and the snow came a little early. So we had to very quickly set up our tent while it was coming down pretty strong. We just set it up as quick as we possibly could, threw our bags in, and now we're gonna wait it out for a little bit and see if it won't die down and then we can readjust our situation. We pretty much set it up in the middle of a mud puddle too. A rocky mud puddle at that. (laughs) So hopefully it dies down for a little bit this afternoon so we can readjust. It's gonna be a long cold night. (laughs) It's only noon. Oh. Here we are waiting out the rain. How long have we been in the tent? Um, hour and a half. An hour and a half. We had lunch. 
That was really lucky timing. And we got this set up right as the heavy stuff started coming down. Yeah. We saw the forecast. This is exactly what it said it was going to do. <laughs> it's not a surprise. No. <laughs> But that's why we didn't go over the pass today. Yeah, that's why we split it up into three days. Yeah. So that we could get here and hunker down and wait out the weather. Oh, wow. Isn't beautiful? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this was all clouded in when we got here. So this is our first view of the lake. And it is beautiful. I haven't even seen it yet. Get out of here. Quick reminder, if you didn't see our last video, we are in the middle of doing a little giveaway as a thank you for helping us reach 5,555 subscribers. If you haven't already, make sure to click the link in the description below labeled giveaway and enter your email by December 4th. We will announce the winners at the end of our video on Sunday, December 5th. And as always, thanks so much for watching.